Southwest Florida coming down with yet another case of Eagle Fever. FGCU's men's basketball team knocking on the door of March Madness, and they will stroll right in if they win the day after tomorrow on Sunday. The Eagles are hoping to relive the magic from the 2013 season when they reach the Sweet 16 of the NCAA tournament. Today, four in your corners, Michael Cadigan speaking with the team about how they're gearing up for the biggest game of the season. He's live tonight, Mike. Patrick, it's game night here at Alico Arena as fans are filing in right now behind me to try to catch the women's game tonight, but they're all buzzing with excitement over what the men's team has a chance of doing. The Eagles set their sights on Sunday's conference title game with NCAA tournament hopes on the line as they try to take on Stetson. You can see some of the highlights from last night's game against UNF as the Eagles soared to victory past them as they look to try to ride that momentum into Sunday's game to try to punch their tickets so they can go dancing. You might remember in 2013, the Eagles helped Fort Myers turn into Dunk City, and they were the Cinderella story of that year's March Madness before the clock struck midnight and the Florida Gators bounced them out in the round of Sweet 16. But players today were careful not to get too lost in all of the March Madness hype. If we don't take care of business on Sunday, we're not going to get there. So that's our main focus right now. And uh, well, that's our only focus, actually. But um, yeah, we're just we're really excited to play on Sunday. Players excited for a chance to get into the tournament and fans excited to watch them. Capacity at Alico Arena, about 5,000, and they're sold out. But if you were hoping to make your way on Sunday at 7 p.m. to try to catch the Eagles make the, the tournament, you might not be out of luck just yet. 800 student tickets are still unclaimed, and if they're still not picked up by tomorrow at 5, they'll be turned around for the general public. At 10 o'clock, I'll have a report on how Coach Dooley and his players are handling all the March Madness hype. Reporting live in Dunk City, Michael Cadigan, Fox 4, in your corner. Okay, thank you so much, Michael. All new tonight, Governor Rick Scott making a special visit to Collier County today, way in the south.